you can actually also put your serum after your moisturizer. I know what you're thinking, what? Moisturizer before serum? Hi everyone! Kamusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for today guys is ano ba ang tamang order ng skincare routine. Also, I will be showing you my personal way or my personal order in how I put on my skincare products. So, without further ado, let us begin. So first, we will be starting with the skeleton or the bare essentials that you will need for a basic skincare routine. So very simple lang to guys. Tatlo lang ang kailangan mo. Number one, a cleanser. Number two, a moisturizer. And number three, a sunscreen. And remember, throughout this entire video, no matter how complicated things get, sunscreen is always last. And cleanser is first most of the time. Now, the only way na hindi magiging first ang cleanser is if you put on makeup or if you use sunscreens that are very heavy on the face. Ang una nyo munang gagawin, guys, is you need to have something that can remove your makeup or your heavy sunscreen. You can use either an oil cleanser, a cleansing balm, or a micellar water. And yes, guys, for those na matitigas ang mga ulo dyan, again, Micellar water is not used as a toner. It is more used as a cleanser. Nilalagay nyo siya sa cotton pad and then swipe nyo sa face nyo, particularly to remove makeup. And more importantly guys, kapag gumagamit kayo ng micellar water, kailangan binaban law siya because micellar water has ingredients called surfactants which basically clean the skin but if you leave them on the skin, they have a chance of being irritating to it. So, always remember, kailangan binaban law siya after. Pero ako guys, personally, I actually prefer using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. All I have to do is to just rub it in my skin or even just massage it on my skin for a few seconds and the makeup already melts and it's really, really fast. As opposed to micellar water, guys, unang-una, kailangan nyo pa gumastos para bumili ng cotton pads. And also, more importantly, swiping a cotton pad on your face so many times can actually cause irritation on your skin. So you want to go with the gentlest option. And that gentle option is Again, cleansing oil. Kasi sobrang effortless. Ilalagay mo lang siya sa face mo and the makeup will instantly melt. So ayun guys, now that I have finished my rants on my cellar water, <laughs> now sa mga skincare minimalist, ang daming nagtatanong if you can use a moisturizer with SPF instead para mas konti yung steps. Now my answer to that is technically yes, but I highly highly suggest na ihiwalay nyo sila. Bakit? Yung moisturizer kasi guys, depende siya sa skin type mo. You can actually go as little as you want as long as you feel that moisturized na yung skin mo. However guys, yung sunscreen, there is a minimum amount that you should be putting on your skin. For sunscreens guys, you should actually be putting a minimum amount of half teaspoon to one teaspoon for the entire face, including the neck and the ears. Now, imagine if maglalagay ka ng moisturizer sa skin mo, guys, ng one half teaspoon to one teaspoon sa entire face mo. Medyo ang bigat nun. What would be more ideal for those who want to lessen the number of steps in their routine is to instead look for a moisturizing sunscreen. Now, okay, ano yung difference ng moisturizer with SPF to a moisturizing sunscreen? Well, guys, yung moisturizing sunscreen is sometimes just labeled as a sunscreen. Pero yung consistency niya, it is either slightly creamier or it's formulated with some moisturizing ingredients. Moisturizing sunscreens are also formulated in such a way na kahit one half teaspoon to one teaspoon ang ilagay mo sa buong mukha mo, including your neck and your ears, it will still not be as heavy or parang manageable lang compared to an actual moisturizer with some SPF. Yung moisturizing sunscreens, usually, mas malaki yung packaging nila or mas malaki yung contents ng mga products nila. But, Moisturizers with SPF, sometimes guys, sobrang liit lang nila. And how can you expect that to last you for months if araw-araw ang dami-dami mong ginagamit sa maliit na jar na yun? And last very important thing about moisturizers with SPF, 
Usually guys, yung mga moisturizers with SPF, ang minimum lang nila is SPF 15 or SPF 20, which is not enough for your skin. The minimum is SPF 30 and not just that, also a broad spectrum sunscreen because you want to be protected from not just the UVB rays but the UVA rays. Now examples of these moisturizing sunscreens na gamit ko na na sobrang favorite ko is number one, yung sobrang sobrang sikat na Bella sunscreens. Particularly the one that is SPF 40 and also the whitening sunscreen, they tend to be a bit more on the moisturizing side but they also tend to be lightweight on the skin. Another example is the Purito Unscented Green Level Sun. Now this is a sunscreen that is also lightweight pero meron siyang pagka emollient or pagka creamy. So it is really good for those who have dry skin. So actually pag ito yung ginawa nyo guys, you could really narrow down your routine to just two to three steps. Alright, so moving on. What if gusto mong mag-incorporate or magdagdag ng serum sa skincare routine mo? Now the first way guys is just right after cleansing, dun mo ilagay yung serum mo and then put a moisturizer and then sunscreen. So ito yung pinaka-popular guys because you are using the rule na yung lightest products muna before the heavier products. Now another way that some people use a serum in their routine is you can actually also put your serum after your moisturizer. I know what you're thinking, what? Moisturizer before serum? Okay, let me explain, guys. Now, first, there is actually not much research showing that if you put moisturizer before your serum, na mas mababa yung chances na maga absorb siya. So, if you put a moisturizer on your face and then put a serum after, chances are both are still going to absorb in your skin. And to add to that, this is actually particularly helpful for those who are using retinol serums in their skincare routine because there are some research that shows that if you put a moisturizer first on your face and then you let it dry for a few minutes and then you put a retinol serum after it actually shows that there are lesser signs or there is a lesser chance of irritation happening on your skin. Now again guys, remember, you put a moisturizer and then you wait for it to dry. Huwag kayong maglagay ng retinol habang basang-basa pa yung skin nyo from the moisturizer or else the retinol can absorb faster in your skin and can actually cause irritation. So remember, wait for the moisturizer to dry and then put your retinol serum. Now reminder guys, if your serum is retinol, it is best used at night. Huwag kayo gumamit ng retinol serums in the morning as much as possible because retinol performs the best at nighttime. Now okay, what if gusto mo namang magdagdag ng toner? Now, for this one guys, it depends what kind of toner you are actually going to use. So, if you want to know more about toners, actually guys, check nyo muna yung toners video ko. I will be linking it maybe here, maybe here, kung saan man. But here is a quick rundown. Number one, if it is a pH balancing toner, a hydrating toner, or an essence, ilalagay mo siya right after you cleanse and before you put on your serums or moisturizers. Now, the reason for this is because mas may nalalock in na moisture ang moisturizer kapag medyo may water pa yung face. Basically, ito lang din ang ginagawa ng hydrating toner or ng essence or ng pH balancing toner. And because of your skin being more hydrated, para siyang sponge na because it is damp, it can absorb other ingredients better. And that is why you would want to use a pH balancing toner, a hydrating toner, or an essence. Essentially, dahil gusto mong i-prepare yung skin mo for the next steps or for the next ingredients that it will be absorbing. But again, the same thing can be achieved by just putting water on your skin. So hindi to guys kasama dun sa mga bare essentials na kailangan na kailangan mo talaga. This is more of just a booster. Now, if it is an exfoliating toner, a toner that has BHA or AHA, use it after cleansing but first wait for your face to dry and then proceed putting on that exfoliating toner. If it is an astringent toner, aka a witch hazel toner, again, I personally do not recommend it, but if you want to reap the astringent benefits of witch hazel, then use it first before mo i-cleanse yung face mo. So ang mangyayari is, kumuha ka ng cotton pad and then put witch hazel on it, and then you can degrease the excess oils on your skin. And then after that, proceed with your regular cleanser. And lastly, if it is an old school toner, then it belongs to 
the trash. As in, itapon nyo na sa basurahan ngayon. Charot. Pero again, guys, hindi ko recommend ang paggamit ng old school toner. So, um, wala siyang place sa routine na to. Now, next, what if gusto kong mag-include ng exfoliating ingredient? Now, take note, guys, if you are already using an exfoliating toner, there is no need to be using another exfoliant as well. Pumili lang kayo ng isa and do not use both because you risk over-exfoliating your skin and with that, you will have irritation on your skin as well. So generally, again, exfoliating products are best used on the skin after mo mag-cleanse and kapag tuyo na yung skin mo. This applies to either a leave-on exfoliating product or a wash-off exfoliating mask. Now, two suggestions, guys. Number one, if you are going to be using a leave-on exfoliating product, then I suggest that you do not anymore use a pH balancing toner or a hydrating toner or an essence because yung ibang mga leave-on exfoliants, guys, meron na silang mga hydrating ingredients that are formulated into the product. And so, if maglalagay ka pa ng essence after, parang medyo redundant na siya. However, number two, if you are using an exfoliating wash-off mask, then it's perfectly fine that you use a hydrating toner, a pH balancing toner, or an essence because binalaw mo naman ulit yung face mo, so parang bagong hilamos ka ulit nun. So, you can proceed with those kinds of toners and then proceed with the rest of your skincare routine. And lastly, what if gusto kong mag-add ng face mask? Now, like I said in my video about face masks, they are just really nice to have, but but if you insist on putting them in your skincare routine, then you have to check what kind of mask it is. Now, if you remember what I said sa face mask video ko, guys, basically, a sheet mask is kind of like a serum and a sleeping pack or a sleeping mask is like a moisturizer. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, guys, is i-interchange nyo lang sila with each other. So, for example, kung nasaan yung serum sa routine mo, pwede mong i-interchange yon with a face mask and kung nasaan man yung moisturizer sa routine nyo, you can interchange it with a sleeping pack. However, if it is a clay mask, I do suggest na tapusin mo muna lahat ng cleansing steps mo like the oil cleansing or the micellar water and then your regular cleanser and then after using it, you proceed with your serums and moisturizers. Now, do take note guys, itong last na order na to, yung pinakita kong order, actually medyo OA na to kung i-include mo lahat ng mga to sa skincare routine mo because sino bang may oras para gawin yun lahat, di ba? Piliin nyo lang talaga yung feeling nyo makakatulong sa routine nyo but do not forget about the bare essentials. Now, as promised in the beginning of the video, guys, I will also be showing you my personal way or my personal order in which I put on my skincare products. So, umpisahan na natin. Here it is. So as you can see guys, my skincare is really a bit simple. I keep it to a minimum. Ayokong masyadong makomplicate yung routine ko. Ayoko yung masyadong maraming pinoproblema. Especially sa ingredients, kung ano ba yung kailangan isabay sa mga hindi kailangan isabay. Medyo hindi ko worry yun masyado because again, I keep my skincare to a minimum. And I suggest that you do as well. One of the benefits of having a very simple skincare routine with a few steps is hindi ka tatama rin na gawin siya kasi madali lang. Yung iba kasi guys, parang very unrealistic na parang, alam mo yung 10-step Korean skincare. Hindi siya sustainable guys. Imagine nyo, after a long day, sobrang pagod na pagod ka, kailangan mo pag gumawa ng 10 to 12 steps na skincare routine. So ayun, now that I shared my routine with you guys, it is your turn. I want to know, what is your order of using your skincare routine or putting your skincare products on? Please do let me know in the comments below. And also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Ilagay mo sa buong mukha mo, including your face. Ay, including your face.